inverse reflection is good. Now, could you please just relax? And now I check the inversion, eversion, sorry, flat deflection, dorsiflexion, deflection, and I check the inversion and eversion. So active followed by passive. I'm checking the range of movement plus I'm checking pain during movement. Okay. So look, feel, and move. Now we're gonna do the special test. So special test, I'm now checking the anterior droid test. Anterior droid test for the scalcano fibular ligament, the long Sorry, the anterior, anterior talofibular ligament. Talofibular ligament. So, anterior ligament. We are doing the anterior droid test. So what I do, I hold this. Sorry, should we mention the ligaments before the examiner no, or just no. do the... I'm doing the talar tilt test. I'm doing the anterior droid test. Examiner know the name of the ligaments. So you don't need to <laughs> mention. <laughs> to explain. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. So what we do, we hold. And the calcaneum, we hold like a cup. We hold like a cup holding method. And this hand we fix, and with this hand we pull like a drawer. We pull, and by this pull we assess the ligament. We assess the ligament. In the book you will see they have written five millimeter. Like, see it comes, but very little because a stable ankle joint, because ligament has a stretchability, and it should not be more than five millimeter. Five millimeter is a feel in your hand. You cannot measure it. There is no measurement now. It's a feel in your hand. So if this is less than five millimeters, suspected no injury. Five to 10, they say mild. 10 to 15, they say moderate. Greater than 15, they say severe. How it comes? It is just about the feel of the hand. So we hold and the cup holding method, John, I'm gonna pull your ankle a bit forward. So, and the ankle joint doesn't give way. So the ligaments are intact and do the same with the other foot. So this is the anterior talofibular ligament. Okay, now we do the talar tilt. Talar tilt we check for the calcanofibular ligament. This is the fibula and this is the calcaneum. So the ligament lies laterally like this and we need to invert. Now we check the calcanofibular ligament again the same way. We hold and again we hold the calcaneum like this and we're gonna do inversion. Now inversion is not the thing. At the last point of inversion, this is the inversion and now this is the last point of inversion. And after the last point of inversion, now we assess how much stretch we can put. And now the ankle, this is the normal ankle, so it's a little bit moving. It's a little moving. That's again all right. We see whether the ankle joint gives way or not. If the ankle joint is like total or a bit more, then this calcanofibular ligament is compromised. And we're going to follow up with an ultrasound. Okay? Otherwise, no. So, anterior droid test and... Tell 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 test. Now there are modifications. If you go through yeah. books, what we what they do in the talar tilt, they do just relax. What they do, they do this inversion with plantar flexion and inversion. They do a neutral position with inversion, and they do dorsiflexion and the inversion. By doing these maneuvers, they're gonna put more pressure on specific ligaments because we see if you do one specific part, sometimes you may get this posterior talofibular ligament getting more stretch if you can do the dorsiflexion. But those modifications are not needed. Plus, talar tilt, put your foot on the neutral position, just neutral. So this is a neutral position, but also 10 degree flexion like this, and then checking is also fine. So just neutral position and check, or 10 degree, then do the inversion movement. Clear? We have taught like the, uh, the dorsiflexion and inversion. In